single, people often make the mistake of saying that you're alone, you know, and often we've, we've made a lot of single people feel that they're alone, but actually single and alone are two different words. Check it out in your dictionary. To be alone means to be without help. To be alone means to be without company. It means to be um, wandering. To be alone means to be unattended. I mean, how can we be children of God and be unattended? We've made it so deep because of our culture, because of our culture rather than from God's viewpoint. You know, God is not too concerned actually whether you're married or not. He's more concerned about your salvation. You make heaven. It's good to understand the culture we are married into, but it's also good to understand that you can have two people speaking the same language, but yes, they're not communicating it. Yeah. But you can have people of different cultures coming together <laughs> under God and they're speaking the language of the Holy Spirit and a lot of us today we need to start renewing our mind about those things that have formed and have shaped us over years so the question is have we really discovered ourselves because growing up as a child every decision that we make today they are off the back of the things that we have learned we want to encourage singles, never apologize for being single. You don't apologize for it. You know, my favorite one-liner is, I am amazing and I refuse to apologize for it. God didn't say you're more amazing if you're married. He didn't say in Psalms 139 that you're fearfully and wonderfully married made, did he? He said you're fearfully and wonderfully made regardless of your status. So do you see, it's not all that, you know? It's not that deep as my kids would say, mom, it's not that deep. You make your choices based on your values. You make your decisions based on the things you know, not the things that you do not know. So your mind, your conscience reflects your decision, your outlook, and who you are. So that can be likened to a hard drive. You know, what you see is what you get. What you store up into your computer hard drive is what you can pull up. And our hearts over years is like that hard drive. And a lot of information has been stored up into our hard drive. And each time a question is thrown at us, or each time we are faced with a situation, guess where we get our answers from? The hard drives. The hard drives. And that's why the scripture is very explicit about guiding our, our mind. Say, so guide with all diligence, for out of his flows issues of life. God doesn't say, oh, I'm so sorry about you. You are such a sorry case. The Bible says in Zephaniah 3, he sings over us. So how dare you feel sorry for our sisters and brothers who are single? How dare you feel sorry for me because of my state? I don't need your sorry. As you know, as Nollywood would say, sorry for yourself. <laughs> you know, celebrate life. God celebrates you.